Many of our customers come to us with all kinds of problems that they face in their landscape. Neighbors that they don't like, noise from roads, problems with their property such as too much water, too little water, problems with deer, problems with eroding soil, problems with thick heavy clay, problems with people backing into their plants. I mean we have heard and seen every problem there is, but there are plants for those type problem properties and one of them is the witch hazel. The witch hazel can tolerate deer, it can go on eroding soils, clay soils, it can grow in the shade, it can grow in the sun, it can grow in wet areas, it can grow in sunny drier areas, it also can grow under walnut trees and if your neighbor backs into it with his car it will regrow. What more could you ask for in a plant? Well the witch hazel is in the viburnum family and as such it is native to eastern North America. It is a zone 3 to 8 plant that can grow to 15 feet high, maybe 20 feet, with a spread of 15 to 20 feet. It blooms in October. It has a fragrant flower. It likes full to partial shade and it is used as hedges, naturalized settings, and in rain gardens. It's showy, it's fragrant, it has good fall color, it has winter interest. What more could you ask for? Well, when you come to Highland Hill Farm, you can ask for witch hazels because we have plenty of them. And we also have viburnums which we grow. These witch hazels were grown out in our field. They're about four foot tall, they're bald and burlapped. The larger ones we ball and burlap with a wire basket and use burlap and twine. We use a natural twine that will rot. Plant it all together in the ground. Don't take the basket off. Don't take the wire off. Leave the, the twine on it. Only ever remove twine if it is plastic and let the tree or shrub settle a couple of months before removing the twine if it's plastic. But at any rate, at Highland Hill Farm, we have plenty of these for you. And as strange as this may sound, we will deliver and plant them for you if you're within a reasonable driving distance. We go up to Massachusetts, we go down to Tennessee, we go to Chicago, we go to Philadelphia, but I wish I was armed, but we always try and help you with your plants. If you have a problem, give us a call. We can at least give you some free advice. And we have lots and lots of witch hazels and viburnums for you. So call us at 215-651-8329. This is Bill at Highland Hill Farm. Thank you. If you're looking for a hardy native shrub, consider the arrowwood viburnum. The arrowwood viburnum grows in zones 3 through 8 with a mature height of 6 to 12 feet. It has really nice blue berries in the fall. The berries are sweet, the birds like them, they're non-toxic, but along with that it has a nice white lace, lacy flower cluster in the spring and the fall foliage the plant turns a red color. It likes full sun to partial shade, it can take moist well-drained soils, but it can tolerate wet soils and some dry soils as well. It prefers a slightly acidic soil. This, tr this bush, as strange as this may sound, can also thrive underneath and near walnut trees. So this bush has a lot of utility in the landscape and it is somewhat deer resistant. It can tolerate dry sites, salty sites, wet sites, windy sites. It's used as a border, a hedge for naturalizing screen or a specimen planting. What more could you want in a shrub? If you'd like to see some of these shrubs, you can call us or come to see us at Highland Hill Farm. We can send you more pictures. We can show you our plants in the field, as well as you can come and pick them up at our yard in Fountainville, PA. So give us a call at 215-651-8329 for Arrowwood Viburnums. Thank you. If you have questions about trees and shrubs, 
give us a call at Highland Hill Farm at 215-651-8329 or email us at bill at highlandhillfarm.com. If you like this video, I hope you subscribe and please go to the subscribe button and subscribe to our videos. Thank you. Have a nice one. Bye-bye.